So they're they're always could just walk in here and just take Pretty stuff much. off my desk if they want. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm, I've been trying to tell you that for about a year or so now. Mm. Well, obviously, I don't listen to you for about a year or so now. There's some drama. <laughs> I'll see myself out. <laughs> you got to get through the two of them. Why don't you <laughs> shut it up, Tom? Hey, you <laughs> Get it together, y'all. Bless your heart. Brian, you better think of some things to say. Hey, what'd you do? Just crying. open the door? Is that all you wanted to do? He's putting a oh, sign Oh, okay. Up. All right. All right. I'm hostile tonight. Sorry, I'm hostile. You're gonna say stage door? <laughs> See, he he's still in he's still in work hours. It's yeah. still work hours, so he's still nasty. Yeah, this place just gives me the wheelies until five oh one. Until five oh one, like then the blues. He's the happiest, yeah. nicest person. I think so. Oh, most of the time, unless you ask my kids, and I'm still an a hole. Or your wife. Screw her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's recording now. <laughs> this is a first. All a first? three of us. Why? All three of us. All three of us on the same time is the first time we've ever done this. Yeah. Three regular guys and an Emma. And an Emma. And when we say regular, no, we're not doing that joke. Come on. <laughs> Ron always wants to throw in. It's our in high the, fiber the, diets the that our wives have. He us just on. wants to put the we're poop jokes in. Regular right away. guys. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Regular three so, regular so, guys and so, Emma. Oh my guys, God. So it doesn't matter. Jeez, so uh, thank you for coming back, Emma, to endure all oh of this. Gosh. So sorry so right away. So you last time we saw you, you were in Bright Star yes. in Perrysburg. And then Tom's got something for you. This is gonna be the first time. Ooh, ooh. <gasps> what uh, is it? I can't reach it. Uh we have the Bright Star program, and for the first time, we are gonna ask one of our guests to actually sign the program. That the first time in stage door history. Stage door history. Unfortunately, I can't reach the sharpie. We're gonna have to do it after that. <laughs> right, we're symbolically doing Seriously? it right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to move my mic. Jeez, yeah, move the mic. It's fine. I'll just turn off your mic while I'm doing the recording here. No big deal. An honor. An honor to actually <laughs> sign this thing. Signature. Just throw it at See, her. To Ron and the other guys. Yeah. <laughs> no, Ron didn't go. You don't even put Ron's name on it. I didn't go. <laughs> don't, yeah, but you're going to the next one. Though. I'm going to the next. Oh, this one. is true. Yeah. Yes. So we're I'm, here. So we we tried to arrange this, and so it was kind of like a last minutety thing. And we said, uh, Emma, can, do you think you can wrangle some people up? And she couldn't get anybody. <laughs> Too many got, know know of us now. That's yeah. why they're not coming on. Is that the problem, Emma? <laughs> no, uh, it's busy. We have coaching. Some people have to be at rehearsal early today. Some people are just booked and busy. Oh. I'm not. Luckily, <laughs> luckily I'm free as a bird. <laughs> so the, so the lead in the show is free as a bird. For some reason, <laughs> but everybody else is busy. Am I allowed to rip on anyone else from the anybody cast? you want? Yeah, like where's Chris? Start with Chris Stack, absolutely. Yeah, where's he at? And yeah, that that's something I'd like to bring to the table. Where is he? Yeah, I, I, calling I, him I, out. Good. Yeah, we asked him to come on. I thought it'd be fun to have him come on and help co-host the show, but he all of a sudden he gets real shy. Oh no, no, I just can't. <gasps> when I think Chris Stack, I think shy. Right, personally. I know. All of a sudden right? he's like, oh, I don't, I don't, I just shouldn't. There's so many other better people. Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> Okay. Whatever, dude. Okay. Just come on, be goofy with us. He didn't want to get outshined, and that's okay. Oh, that's actually what it was. <laughs> I that sounds more that's, accurate. Yeah, I like that. That's that's very really possible. Yeah. <sighs> he's like, mm. and I know he's gonna be listening to this. So I hope so. Hi. Should we let somebody know what the? Uh, um, eventually, we'll get there. The we'll show, get there the eventually. Show is. Hey, the, the title of the podcast says what the thing is. Okay, we're we're gonna be talking about beautiful, the uh, Carol King. Musical that's going to be up at the bra- at the uh, beautiful Croswell Opera House, mm-hmm. and you're playing Miss Carol King. I so am. So you're going from you're going from the the girl in Bright Star. What was her name? Alice. Alice. I can yes. never. Yeah, I would never remember her name. Alice Murphy. The yeah. poster child for why there needs to be sex education in schools. To this person who is the like poster child for America's greatest writer, basically. I yeah, mean, but what they great. both have in common, they both got pregnant at 16. So I guess I have a casting type. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, been, she's been typecast. That's yeah, great. Ty- I've been typecast. Yeah, as a 16-year-old. <laughs> yep. And at the ripe age of 22, I will take it. Yeah, I exactly. will take it. So when Juno becomes a musical, you're the first oh, person I to call it. I'm ready to go. Wouldn't you be totally? I'm ready to go. I would be. Can you believe I came up with one? I am impressed. <laughs> Thank you. I'm impressed. <laughs> Juno would be an interesting musical. I don't see why that would not be a musical, actually. I don't. Get on that, peeps. Get out I'll there and get it. this thing. So you have a lot of pressure, though, because we kind of have a big deal person from the area who is actually on the national tour who plays Carol King? So nothing to live up to at all, Sarah. Yeah, Shepherd. no, the, the bar is just so low. And my director was her teacher when she was younger, so it's even better, which what? is cool. Yeah, Deb Calabrese. She was she taught Sarah Shepard growing up, so really? there's a connection. And Deb, it's coming taught up. Taught her where? At Whitmer. You know that? At Whitmer. 
That's what I'm saying. I, I know no Deb Calabri is taught at uh, TSA. TSA. I, I don't know. I'm not sure where. But mm. taught her forever. And she talked to Sarah about me in the production. Sarah agreed to talk to me at some point about it. Oh. But she just finished up doing Beautiful Again up in Missouri, I think. So she's been booked and busy. So I'm It doesn't surprise me she agreed to talk to her, though. Because for somebody who's such a big so nice. deal, she's such a sweetheart person to come and yeah. like just like... She came on our podcast, which is just already crazy enough that she would make the time to do that. So Put up cool. with all our dad jokes. Yes. Yeah. And there were a lot of them. And I forgot oh, yeah. to hit record on that episode, <laughs> yeah. and I had to start over. Oh, it was ridiculous. my gosh. You already had more patience than I first time. Can anybody do? check and make sure I actually hit record on this one? I'm going to check real fast. It's make me nervous. <laughs> Uh oh! While Kyle okay, yeah, it's recording. Record. Okay, oh, <laughs> that's a close my gosh. One. <laughs> I can't help it. I I, don't, I get a little AD there. I'm like, oh. go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was gonna rip on you, but we'll move on. No, from it's that fine. Point. You can rip on me all you <laughs> no, want. No, I we, Carol King and, and name some other, and we picked on Chris, and Chris is playing Don Kirshner. And yes. last time I talked to Chris, I started explaining who Don Kirshner was, and he looked at me like. I may have to do some research. Maybe on you this should be Maria. <laughs> so, Tom, you were trying yeah. to steal his role from him, Maria? <laughs> no, I was just, I was actually uh, booking uh, somewhere in Boston to go to. And uh, yeah, I started telling him who Don Kirshner was, and he just kind of looked at me like a deer in headlights going, huh. Hmm. I'm going to have to look into that. I am clueless about life. I should probably yeah, he research. He also had, yeah. I think it was about 12 hours between title of show in this one so oh. he probably got a little bit like oh gotta learn my lines you just jump in from show to show but yeah i i don't i haven't researched donnie too much i'm reading a carol king biography okay autobiography okay. Oh, and i haven't gotten part. to the part it's really good i haven't got to the part where she's met don so i don't know anything about don besides chris jack will be playing him mm. that's I'm all i got get my donut now that I you brought th- me oh, yeah. Yeah. quick asmr <laughs> I, th- I all i know is i think don's older than chris I, I assume he's um, older yeah, than well, 30 Well, Don Kirshner was actually a producer who was, who was the person who actually created the monkeys. All right. You I think we cr- need to go back a little bit here. Yeah, like, oh, don't Kansas. you fear. The monkeys are mentioned. Don't you even fear. The monkeys yeah, were mentioned. Probably not in Kansas. But um, <laughs> no, I mean, he was he was a great producer. He had a, a midnight television show where they brought in live music. And actually, they played live on television. Well, actually, they recorded it, but they were there. Wasn't, okay. It wasn't like Solid Gold where you came in lip sync. It was like American Bandstand. It wasn't like American Bandstand. Oh, it was it totally was, different from American Bandstand. better than American Bandstand. <laughs> Canadian they actually Bandstand. played. Oh, okay. I don't know if Canadians play. Like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> All well, right. Maybe we should say real quick again, we should probably break down what the show is because there are people who have not seen this musical in the area. Including us. I, uh, I have seen it. Oh, he's seen it. That's right. Oh, yeah. I saw it. I saw Sarah Shepard do the show. Ooh. So, yeah, exactly. Exactly. She was here. I love this city. <laughs> for the response that they gave her when she came into town and did this performance. So So let's talk about what it is exactly, and then we can, uh, I'll interrupt a lot. Yeah, so it's basically, it's a musical form of like a biopic, like Bohemian Rhapsody. What's the one about Elton John? It's essentially that. It's the story of Carole King. It's not just about her music. It's about her life. It starts when she's 29, and it goes back and forth between ages. Essentially, 29, it's like the end of the show. She ranges from 16 to 29 throughout the whole thing. Starts when she's older, and she's made it, and she's doing great. And then it backs all the way up to she's ha- to when she's 16, and her songwriting journey, the people she meets, the boys she meets. Um, the competitive group that they're against. It goes through how all the music, and there's only like three songs in the show that I knew she wrote. There are so many that she wrote that I had no idea about. That's exactly. So my daughter and my son went and saw it on the national tour. Mm -hmm. And the very first thing they said when they came out was, is we had no idea how many songs. The locomotion? Hello? (laughs) And they were how old at the time? Uh, my children were young. They were like and they still 14, knew, 15. And they still yeah. knew all the songs. Exactly. It, These which, are really big songs. This right. isn't a, a, a right. you know, teeny tiny song. They were like, what? No, they knew right. these songs and were shocked that mm-hmm. she wrote those. Right. And there's some that, like the bigger ones, like, will you still love me tomorrow? You make me feel like a natural woman. Yeah, everyone knows those. But there's also some that will really, really attract the older crowd. Like my grandparents' age, like they will be into it. A lot of the Just look at the three the of tapestry, us. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. tapestry album. I wasn't too familiar with most oh. of them. Like it's too late. I just I just wasn't. There's only the handful. But I, I it's said this to Sarah. Tapestry, I still yeah. consider Tapestry one of the top ten albums of all time period. It's great. It's just that that spectacular. Mm. So good. That's so the line that your your boyfriend gets to say. 
<laughs> right? Yeah. So he, your boyfriend he, Jared's yep. in the show. Yep. And, you, and you put a little th- video of him with his one line yes. that he got to see. Is yes. He-, he sings a lot throughout the show. And he plays some of the singers that Carol King sells her songs to, like Bobby V and the Righteous Brothers. Well, actually, Carol King didn't write for the Righteous Brothers. Anyway. But he sings a lot of the songs that are sold by Carol and Cynthia, whoever. But at the very end of the show, he has a line. He's not even on stage for it. But oh, he has he's this, not even on He's stage? got this big, booming voice. He'll be backstage. He does he, have a dreamy he, voice. I remember last time he came yes, on. Yes, yeah. he flirted with him right uh, well, in front of me. Well, you know, it's pretty oh, nice. Yeah, that That's okay. I forgive you. So at the very end, he's basically like, and welcome to the stage, to Carnegie Hall. Uh, top female vocalist, top album, blah, 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 Carol King. And then I come out and it's cute. He did it's it much better finale. than you did. He sure did. You're That's sure why the, he was cast the lead as it. After all? Jeez. So why uh, would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, he nailed it way better than you did. So. I thought it was funny you, you outed him right there on your Snapchat. Like, here's this one line he gets to I didn't show. say one line. <laughs> practicing his line. <laughs> his line that he gets. One line that he gets. <laughs> well, my last line in the show is, sure. So he still beats me for last lines. You say sure. I did this whole show and my last line is sure. Sure. <laughs> really got to work on my Spoiled. delivery on that one. Now talk about Carol King. I'm going to go to back to the show. Yeah, please. Um, it's, it's, she's intriguing by the fact that a lot of people wrote songs but didn't actually perform them. I mean, you had Lieber and Stoller. You had uh, Carol King and her husband. Mm-hmm. And, and sh- for her to actually come out after all that and then still become an, uh, yes. uh, an artist... It was kind of unique at the time. Oh, yeah. There, That's there a great been, point, Tom. There, there's been some later, but back in the early 60s, it, it, right. it just, that, that, was, that was unique. Is that right. kind of portrayed into the Yeah, programs? totally. So in the beginning, she just, the very first two lines, in the first monologue she says in the show, it's like, you know, she's at Carnegie Hall, and she's like, I never meant to be a singer, blah, blah, blah. And then it goes back to her whole story, how she literally just wanted to sell her music. Right. And she just wrote the music, and then her then husband wrote the words and they partnered on that but then sometime in act two this isn't really a spoiler because it happened in real life it's real life you don't know about right exactly so at some point in act two she's like i I could never be a singer like girl singers are beautiful like i she's just like an average looking girl she was like at the time especially the glamorous right Right, but she was sure hope she's cute she was unfortunately (laughs) kind of correct in the fact that everybody had to have a look to them she thought right like the fabulous so that was her one of her main insecurities and then the turning point for her as it's talked about in the show is tapestry the song she was writing for tapestry she was like all of these songs are part of the same narrative and it's telling my story and i can't think of it coming out of anyone else's mouth but mine so that's when she was like this this is bigger than me i have to put my fears behind this is part of my story and i want to tell it exactly i don't know no better in person hands. to tell that musical right. story than yourself right you're the one who wrote the music you're the one yep. who, who wrote the lyrics for it but, right but it obviously resonated because many people have covered of many course. of those songs oh, yeah. that's from that album oh yeah and what she's writing about is exactly stuff that resonates with people and it's totally. just right. great great and of course she can sing too so right, let's not that helps. act like she can't <laughs> sing she can sing <laughs> totally so yeah but it, when i saw the show it was exactly that she was just wanting to be a part of the industry because she was young yep. right she was real young yep. and she saw this american bandstand or canadian bandstand type show <laughs> that was hosted by who tom Don Kirshner. Don Kirshner. No, he wasn't a host. He produced it. Oh, produced it. Right. And she's like, I want to be a part of that. Because she lived in the Jersey area, right? Brooklyn. Brooklyn? Yep. Okay, so you're going to go from this Georgia accent to this Brooklyn yep. accent? From the hick town up to Brooklyn, yeah. <laughs> up to Brooklyn. Yep. And have Making to change, way up. Yeah, yep. change your whole accent. Yes. And it was, it was being produced, like, right there. So it was like, if we can... So she just wanted to be a part of that, and then it, right. it, it like it became this huge thing. Thankfully, we don't have to do an accent in this show. I was scared because you never know. you got to get super specific to like the Brooklyn accent, not just like Dizzy. You, I, oh. I didn't want to go down that road. I just didn't. So but you're just thankfully, not playing it with an accent? No one is. Okay. And thank God. Because Deb wanted to approach it like, we don't want to make it like a caricature of mm-hmm. Carol King. Like, oh, this northern girl that... She kind of said the the words you say will speak for itself. Like you can tell they're Good from point. Brooklyn from Good what point. they say, not just how they say it. So, and it's also it's a community theater. None of us are perfect, flawless, gorgeous. Yeah. Can do flawless accents, and we don't yeah. want it to take away. I don't so. remember honestly. I, I'm going to say that, that Sarah, when she did it for the national tour, did have an accent, but it wasn't something that I was like, right. oh my gosh, what an right. accent. So yes. it was just like I believe Deb is exactly right. That's it's, yes. it's, we're just going to absorb the story. And we're going to hear. Right. I'm sure that all the actors had their accents, and mm-hmm. I just never occurred to me. Right. Nobody got on there and was ridiculous like the you know right. the Bronx and news. Just like a little bit of a drawl, a little bit. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I'm, working, I'm working Maybe on my not Bowling Green accent. Bowling, Bowling Green accent. Falconies. So are you any good? Did you, where did you, <laughs> wait, did you do, um, have, have you already played, do you play the piano and not sing just like her? Not a lick. Not a no. lick. And not a do you lick. sing just like her and sound I don't. Like her? When I auditioned for this, I didn't even bat an I I didn't even look at the character description of Carol King. I was wow. like, there's no way in H E double hockey sticks. Mm-hmm. I'm not five two. I'm not Jewish. I don't have a similar voice to her. You're it, like I just five did, three. Slow down. I'm five six, but <laughs> really close. I, oh, am. Okay. I, I d- am. I must be six six. I didn't realize. I'm standing yeah. next to her. I feel it's all about huge. perspective. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I didn't even think about it because I don't think I don't really think I look like her. With blue eyes, but that's kind of like the extent of it. Like I don't think I look like her. And there's this other role in the show, Cynthia. She just kind of what I normally play, like the loud. Kind of obnoxious, kind Who's of yelling. Cynthia? What'd you say? Who is Cynthia? In the Caitlin. Show? Caitlin's playing Cynthia. No, Cynthia. No, oh, sorry. Yeah. Cynthia is the um, her kind of competitor. Her and her husband or boyfriend, they also write songs to sell. So they kind of compete throughout the whole show. Gotcha. But they're also best friends. So it's not evil or anything. But mm-hmm. Caitlin, she's more, she's like the funny lead role. Yeah. So yeah. usually that's kind of what I go for. That's What's what her I name? The, the, you know her last name, Tom? You know everything. Cynthia who? Who's the other Wild. person? Wild. Cynthia there you Wild. go. And Cynthia yeah. Wild in real life, unfortunately, just passed. She just passed, yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So this is kind of, it would have been cool if, if Caitlin, Caitlin or Katie? Caitlin. Caitlin would have been able to come in and maybe she could have said some stuff, some, yes. some kind words. So I'll just say them now. No, I don't have anything. How else did that? <laughs> tell us more about audition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I've never done anything in the Croswell before. Or mm-hmm. at the Croswell before. I've only done one show in Northwest Ohio. That was just a couple months ago at PMT. At PMT. Which one's yes. better? PMT or Croswell? Oh, don't go there. Ah. <laughs> she, hasn't, she hasn't done this one yet. Fine, right, fine. I haven't well, done it yet. Okay, which director was better? How's that? Is that better? No, no. I'm not no. saying anything. <laughs> Which podcast was better? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, this podcast was not definitely us. better than the last podcast uh, I was on, darn right. which was also y'all's. Oh. So anyway, <laughs> the audition process, it was it was cool. For PMT, it, it's at the smaller level. Not as many people come to that one, but it's just you go in for the one show, you prepare a song, prepare, I think it was like a side, like a little paragraph you had to prepare, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and that was it. Okay, cool. But for the Croswell, it was like a couple hundred people showed up. Yeah. It was three different audition wow. dates. It was at a hotel in Toledo. Like, they traveled to Ohio to hold auditions just because so oh. many people were there. And actually, they do two sets of auditions, because they actually hold audition sets in the Croswell and Adrian. They do a whole set there. So you only saw probably oh, yeah. a third of the people. Yeah, they do it at the Croswell, I think, in Ann Arbor, and then Toledo. Yeah, I think they, there's maybe even three. Oh, wow, there's but yeah, one there in Ann Arbor, But yeah, there was a too. lot. So okay. this one, I just went in, and it's kind of like you got to pick, because you have essentially a minute to show what you can do to show off for four different shows. And it's Jersey Boys, Beautiful, The Prom, and Mary Poppins. And I was like, so... I, the only one I kind of saw myself in was this one. Just mm-hmm. I'm not a Mary Poppins... I know myself. I'm self-aware. So I went in. And <laughs> You're not I, a Jersey boy? <laughs> you know, not this time. Maybe next time. And I just went in. I just picked a song that I knew I could do well. I was like, I'm not going to overthink it. So I did a Barbara Streisand song, okay. which is not Carol King at all. No. Let's hear and it. And then, yeah, okay. Here we go. <laughs> and what then song from was there, it, it was yeah. My Man okay. from Funny Girl. Hmm. So I just went in. It didn't Don't connect with sorry. any shows. It was just, I know I can sing it well. Whatever, cool. Yeah. And then there was a dance call. That was uh, that was fun. And then from there, there were callbacks. And after that, I was like, oh, I don't know. I just, I didn't feel good about it. I, it was fine, but I just felt like, I don't know. I didn't it was a very like professional auditioning thing. atmosphere, though. Oh, it is. There. You know, it, it they, was legit. Yeah, they get yeah. there and they get you in and they're like, okay, yep. let's do this. We had we're... numbers the first round and everything. Yeah. yeah. It's like it we're, we're casting for a bunch of shows. Right. And not, right. not one show. And we're like, we're filling our, our room, summer it's season. Like 12, 13 people. Tough. Because it is. Be sitting there thinking. It is kind of looking at someone going Mary Poppins and Carol King. But it's yeah, it's like oh, three people them, from each yeah, show. Oh, all sitting okay. there. Yeah, like all the directors, directors and oh, casting directors, and the okay. choreographers yes. for each of the shows are all. Yep. And then they duke there. it out for who they want. Literally, kind of, kind of do. Because yeah. you can do multiple shows, but it's hard to overlap. Like they if overlap. I were to be. This would never happen in a million years. But if I were Carol King and Mary Poppins, LOL, that wouldn't work. Because LOL. It, LOL <laughs> it wouldn't work because it would overlap too much. But So in theory, it you would over maybe LOL beaten too much. out the person who's now stuck at Mary Poppins. Or, in the other sense, that person that was... Mary Poppins was probably going to could have gotten the spot at Carol King, and because of who that, knows? you could. I like to knows? live in ignorant bliss of whatever happened okay. behind I the scenes. I don't think that Emma could have played here. Mary Poppins though, because did you hear her reaction on the dance call? 
Not good. Yeah, not good. Right? I wasn't bad. Uh, I'm, I'm a strong mover. A I strong wouldn't say mover. dancer. I'm a, I'm a strong mover. Gotcha. Because it's like, but that one would have been a big. Tap. So that kind of thing could have been not what they do. But that's what the Crossroad does for their summer season. Right. They pack in an entire season of shows just in the summer. Yes. And Emma's 100% correct. And it's like, how in the world could you possibly uh, try and do more than one show? And in fact, it's like, when we were messaging back and forth, it's like, we don't have any days off. We have no days off. Seriously. You know, so it's it's boom, it's boom, boom. Crunch time now, right? And just try, like I said, we weren't even probably be going to be doing the show episode, but we worked right. it out somehow. Yeah, we haven't Emma. even we yeah. haven't even had our full cast at a rehearsal yet because it's so, been so crazy. Really? Yes. So they cast Mary Poppins and then said, "Who's left? Oh, she can be. <laughs> right. She I can was, be. I was a leftover, yeah, and that's okay. okay. You I'll can take be it. Carol yeah. King. I'll take okay. any crumbs. That's why Carol Emma King. fits in so well with this. Yes. She mentioned something about ignorant and you know, we, and, and that's why she. Fits we in crack so well a with joke us. and she doesn't <laughs> skip a beat. She just joins <laughs> in. <laughs> okay. Good. 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 I'm internally a dad. Okay. So, Externally, uh, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> so, so the three of us guys are bringing our wives. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Eat that donut. Who wants this other donut? I can't eat this other donut. The, Someone I mean, needs I can, to eat the donut. I shouldn't. That's my thing. I'll take it. I'll take it. Right. I'll take it home. The three of us guys are taking our wives to see it all yep. t- we're all going together and yay win uh, yeah. and i bought the tickets what day are we going to seven no, i didn't really i got a free gift gift card so <sighs> saturday july 7th, saturday july 8th 8th it's yeah. actually on the bill of w211 they, yeah. they paid for us to go nice. we're going for free yeah okay so july but 7th, can we we'll can we go to the barn the stage door afterwards and meet you <laughs> Wait, that, that yeah, we'd really like hurt. to meet nothing you. to do with us and then maybe she could give us a backstage tour which we've yeah. already been then we'll have our second playbill ah, sign yes. oh. I, I don't know how that works I've never seen a show at the Croswell oh. I, okay. I have no idea you've never even seen a show no. at the Croswell are no. you trying to get everybody what? who's auditioned there mad at you yeah I've no never, it looks I great know, I, I literally could not get to Jersey Boys uh, you're like I don't know the character I, do. I didn't do any research um, I never did a show at the Croswell before <laughs> Remember that time I said I'm reading a book about Carol King? Oh yeah, oh, remember yeah, that? that? It was that after the count. <laughs> after the, and then and then uh, let's Deb Calabrese is kind of a big deal. Oh yeah, she's yeah. my queen. We carpool sometimes. Oh nice, it's my favorite thing ever. She has done so much <laughs> stuff in the area. Oh my gosh, she I know. is one of the I don't know what the right word is, but you know, queen bee. I don't think that's the right word, but one of the most respected <laughs> yes. directors. In the area, she's like the matriarch of yeah, Northwest. Yeah, there we go. Theater. That's a better word. <laughs> Queen Bee is not as flattering, um, but but she is though. She's very well respected, and totally. and it's not just because she produces good shows. But my understanding is because of her relationship that she always has with everybody performing. Oh my gosh, yes, she's yeah. like the mom. Yeah, it's she, like she's not a dictator. So early, I don't want everyone to be up too late. Yeah, not a dictator, but she also like she's not like everyone free for all. No. You no. listen to her because you know she has good things to say. It's called respect. Not because she's she's threatening. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but she also will will vibe with you guys is what oh, I understand. Yes. You know, yes. and, and I know again has I have a little tiny bit of experience with her, but I can never get her on the show because she's so busy. She's so busy. She's too important in so the theater busy. world to come and sit down and stay. Seriously. Stage door. Okay, so what are the <gasps> dates again? Do we July seventh through the sixteenth. Wait, we're all going on opening night? We're no we're going no, the eighth. Oh. Opening we're going to the, the Saturday. I better change that Saturday. my calendar. Friday is the opening night, I assume. Yeah. So yes. we have one day to get it right. Okay. That's I can't mess yeah. up, and then yeah, we'll sure. go when they're better. Are you we going have to go to the matinee, matinee? Because, you know, we're going to the matinee we're world. Old. On we're weekends, old. we're in bed by seven. Yeah. Oh, please, yeah. me too. I this can't is go. a stretch. <laughs> there's, a, there's a late show that night. You'll have to actually yes. perform. Well, if we work Gosh. all day on Friday, we would be exhausted and not enjoy it enough to go see the right. show on a Friday. So. Do you have understudies yeah, and they get to show? <gasps> do it? No. Oh. There's no understudies. You have no understudies? Jeez, Mom. What if you lose your voice? Jeez, we'll mom. See. <laughs> Just don't lose it Saturday the end. And Lily Buck is the uh, the assistant. Yes, she is. She's she's part, a she carpools person. with us too. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you guys are all driving together. Yes. But I mean, I know that she's she's been on the show before. She's uh, oh really? Uh, oh yeah, she's a wonderful performer. She was Anastasia at Toledo School for the oh, Arts. Oh yes, yes, yes. We talked yeah. about that. She can sing and dance and goes to college for it and all that good stuff. So when I saw she Queen. was going to be the uh, director, assistant director, the assistant she's in it choreographer. Too. Oh, is she? Yes. What is she playing? A piano in she's background? She's like a probably? featured ensemble role. She just oh. she's all over. You'll see her just popping up. Everywhere. Wow. <laughs> well, she's okay, little well, Eva yes. person. What'd you say? Little Eva. No, she's not. Okay. No, she's a little is, nothing. Is there in the actually background. a little e- somebody playing yes. Little Eva? Yep. Oh, how cool is that? Sabria. Yeah. I don't yep. know who that is. What you got? You can't just throw you names. I've seen the show. Yeah, she's, but I don't she know. sings her Locomotion. Name. Locomotion, the original oh. Locomotion. Yes. 
And, and she's s- my babysitter. Yeah, but Lily <laughs> wouldn't play that role then, would she? No. No. <laughs> you, <laughs> you said Why you not? She's a little, I mean, she was young at the time. Lily's not that old. Lily's way too white. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Tom. <laughs> Lily is Lily As White. So I'm way too white too. Huh? <laughs> you said you don't play the piano. I oh yes, that's what we you were talking about. You have to fake it. I have to fake it. Oh, yes. So, so that's my next big battle. I got. I know all my lines. I know all my all my songs. I know all my blocking. I've been working on this. <laughs> so yep. all you really have to do is just know when the notes are going to hit and put your yes. hands down. Yep. And I've been working that. with Josh Glover, who's the music director. Okay. About like this song, just keep it here. This song go more over here for the big finale, which is beautiful. I have to be like more into it and oh. go down the line, but that's the next stressor because okay. in my head I'm singing on my beat and I don't have the brain of it. Oh. I don't know how to play the piano. That's so it's a like, good point. It's yeah, yeah chewing gum and walking that. Same Seriously, type yes, thing. that's what yeah. it is. Yep. I would screw that Good up. Good thing you're not doing Karen Carpenter because you have to fake the drums. Oh, fake, gosh. Fake Forget drumming. it. I don't even understand Forget that Forget it. Joke. That's yeah. it. <laughs> no. I don't know who the Carpenters are. <laughs> ah, she was just real skinny. That's all I know about oh, that. Man. No, I shouldn't oh, have said man. that. That's she all I know. Is that terrible? That's sang. all I know? She was a very good singer. Oh, she was a drummer I'm who sang? Drummer yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh. Uh, same era, though. Okay. Anything actually, else? Anything else you want to say that's amazing about the show? Everything's amazing. About it the is. Show. It really is. It was when I saw it. Um, I don't know what I expected. I went in. Maybe I went in with low expectations. Right. Um, but I went and saw it, and was just. It was really a pretty show. And and it right now on Broadway and everywhere. There's a lot of musicals about famous people. Mm-hmm. But this is this is just a really good one. There's a lot of jukebox musicals like Mamma Mia and stuff where they just Ugh. they want it to get popular, so mm. they throw all these like Escape to Margaritaville, just a bunch of popular songs mm-hmm. and throw a story together. Yeah. But with this one, it's literally the story of the music and i don't know I, there's a lot of people that probably think they might not like it or they just i don't know who well Carole i King think i kind of had that attitude right i was kind of like oh is this going to be just a bunch of her right. songs and like snooze not. fest no not it, at all it was a story Seriously. that had her music in it it's and it's a great. good story have it's you, not a little story i've it's always a really loved well carol done. king and i'm yes. i'm so geeked to go to this well, and, good and, and it's you know and even more so because Emma's going to be in it. a tiny, yeah. tiny bit because of Chris. Uh, but that's it. Oh, no Lily? You don't care if she's in the background? Is, is, oh, yeah, Lily. Yes. Like, yeah, right, yes. yeah, <laughs> and have you Lily seen... more sh- than Chris. <laughs> have yeah. you seen Beautiful before? I saw Take the that, slime yes. tutorial on YouTube. Okay, the that counts. Broadway bootleg, yep. Oh, <laughs> that's good. And it's funny, we totally... The Broadway bootleg. This is probably fine to say. Oh, we use it in rehearsal all the time. <laughs> we use it in rehearsal all the time because it has all the little... Like before we have the band, we... The soundtrack doesn't have everything, so we're just like, let's see what Broadway did. Da, 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 da. Not for direction, but it's easier to see how the show comes together, you know, because yeah. we block all the scenes, and then that helps to put it all together. I'm excited for Tom to see it, because when I saw it and I came back, one of the first things I did was went to Tom and said, Tom, you need to see this show. Yes. As a music fan that Tom is, and he knows the buff. history of all these things, and yes. he's a music buff, it's like, I know there are songs in this show that he's going to appreciate way more. Then I appreciate it. Yes. So, so I'm going to make you jealous. My son is good friends with someone who danced with Jesse Mueller. Who's, <gasps> who's Jesse? I Mueller? love her. She was the original Carol King on Broadway. Oh, thank you. And my, she was in Waitress and yeah, a bunch of stuff. She was the original oh, was waitress. waitress. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. after, 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 amazing. after. Well, my son sang with Sarah Shepard, who's on the national tour of this. So there. What do you got, Tom? Well, my son. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you threw off a train. That's what you did to your son. No, not you. Your, That's uh, true. <laughs> my son was in a ship in Japan. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> he's, he's back home now. All right. Um, well, is that it? Is that all we got for this show? I mean, it's a lot. I'm anybody, exhausted. Is there anybody too. that we should be looking out for in this show? The person that's really, really impressed me in this show is Stephen Ooh. Kiss. Oh, yeah. Wow. He's really good. Wow. Because his character is very difficult. It's hard to like him. It really, really is hard to like him. But He's your he's, husband. Yes. In the show. He, yes. Yeah. I meet him, and we're very young, and we get together, and... He just becomes, he has a lot of mental issues, and it makes him very, very, very unlikable. Oh, are we not allowed to say Jerry Goffin? What? No. Oh, yeah, we Nobody knows Goffin. that. We, we kept saying uh, Carol King's husband. We've never <laughs> actually said his name. He who shall not be named. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's a little got bit. A, yeah. <laughs> Steven has a little strange nose. It's all good. No, he, he, it, it's, I have no problem seeing him as a terrible person because he played a crappy little a big brother and Billy Elliot at Crosby Oh, also. yes. So I he's, have no... He's just so impressive. Like, all his lines are like... He's like... And I, 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 I he just memorizes it. And it, it's crazy. He 
experiences all of these emotions and he he's has such kind a of a voice. big deal he's kind of a big deal yeah he's another wanted to get one. him on too yeah i would love to have him on i'd love he's to have busy, deb busy. calabrese i know that's what happened last time last summer we were trying to get him on and they just we just could not figure out a time to get on to talk <sighs> about these season. people listen to this one because we definitely i'll have to kidnap them, all them right next time yeah. if we're ever in a show together again i'll just be like oh we're gonna go out to eat we want everybody on this show. <laughs> the That's new a, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll bring donuts. <laughs> and, yes. and after "Beautiful" is over, yes. you're replacing me on stage door. I think that's what's happening. Yeah, she's way better than you. Yeah. So, you're yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, he's okay, not like, no, we just don't want him to have on anymore. We well, don't since, since <laughs> since the day there's four we, chairs. That's perfect. <laughs> since the day we met, Emma, it, it was it was changed from two guys stage door and two, you know, two regular guys and to stage door and Emma. And yeah. Emma. And Emma. She that's the first thing she said. And Emma. And Emma. Yeah, she right. kind of was pushy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I think it's just great marketing. Is it? That's is that all what I'm it saying. Is? It's great marketing. And Emma. And uh, Emma. It brings intrigue. It, it, it <laughs> Who's this <laughs> Emma? <laughs> Three guys and a baby. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Exactly. Two shirts and a tie. <laughs> Three men and a two shirt. Three that's men a, and a baby. That's an off camera joke there you just gave. Oh, Nobody's gonna that follow that at all. We weren't recording. Sorry guys, there. I bet you have FOMO. <laughs> all you right, I think there. we're, I think we're done. Unless somebody else wants to say something cool. It's going downhill, yeah. Come yeah. see beautiful. Quit. Yeah, come see, see beautiful. beautiful. Friday, Crosswell. Saturday, Sunday, and then the next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And yes. if you come on Saturday matinee, you will meet the stage door guy. Yes. Mm-hmm. No, you won't. I'm not telling anyone. No. You're gonna dress in disguise. Should we have our shirts on? No. Should we wear our shirts and go? Please. Yes. Oh, Please Emma do. says yes. Yes. So we'll wear our shirts and we'll all come up like goobers and get our picture <laughs> with her. And our wife yes. is yeah. just going to hate us. Well, let's bring <laughs> our <laughs> shirts. We'll yeah. bring our shirts. No, my wife, yeah, my wife got us the shirts, so I think I she'll know. be fine with them. Mm-hmm. They're beautiful shirts. We'll That's put them on beautiful. after. Beautiful <gasps> shirts. Uh, and on that note, you're she so could lame. sign our shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Okay, come yeah. see the show. Come see the show.